Hi friends, how are you doing today? So I'm back um, with little tips from my book, How My Loving Him Taught Me How to Love Myself. Um, actually, this is not in my book, what I'm talking about. It's, um, it's the person that I am or was that led me to um, writing the book and trying to understand myself and be coming myself so before we start please subscribe hit the notification bell thumbs up and later on comment if you want so we're actually going to be talking about submission today um, and how submission should not hurt you it should not make you cry um, being submissive to somebody should be respected above anything because that is a powerful gift to give somebody when you give yourself to somebody completely it is amazing it is a beautiful thing be beautiful and um you know whoever you're giving yourself to whoever your dominant is should respect that understand that and you know completely completely just respect it um there's no if ands or buts about that you are giving yourself completely to somebody that that's the only way you know to be it's the only way you know how to do it. i'm not talking about those fake 20 something year old that's running around calling people daddy and you know taking their money and all of that stuff i'm talking about a real true beautiful submissive that's like that naturally that it comes naturally to love completely um at first like i didn't understand it i didn't understand myself only all the way up until you know, a couple of years ago after that heartbreak, which led me to write the book, How My Love, How My Love and Him Taught Me How to Love Myself. But, um, yeah, I didn't get it. I didn't understand myself. I thought something was wrong with me. I thought I was damaged. I thought, you know, how can I be this, like, like this, like this person? So it was actually really just, wow, I don't, I don't even know how to say it. It was just like, um. I just felt like I was like stupid, dumb, naive, like all of that stuff to let somebody take advantage of me so easily, especially when you love them so much. So you have to understand that it's not you, it's them. <laughs> it's that person who's not right and treating you the way you should, the way you naturally, naturally are, the loving, beautiful person that you are. So don't feel bad about who you are. Understand who you are. Try to connect with the inner baby person, little girl, whatever that's in you. And, you know, try to understand that person, understand who you are and accept it and not fight against it. Don't try to be a be any other way than who you are and what you are don't let people try to change you because you're probably just beautiful the way you are you are beautiful the way you are um if you and uh, um that person that broke my heart um he he understood the person that i am or was then but he didn't respect it uh, he took advantage of of me and of my heart and of my feelings and of, of the way I felt for him. He just kept me stringing along on a little string dangling, you know, himself in front of me where I just kept reaching and reaching and grabbing and grabbing and catching and letting go and falling down. It was such a roller coaster. It was ridiculous. It was crazy. Um, something that I'm not used to. Um, you know, I fought for this person's love. I fought hard for it because I, I felt as though that how could he not love me as much as I loved him? It, can't, it couldn't be possible, but it is possible. Trust me. And if you have to think that, if you have to be that way, then that's probably not the person for you. It's probably not, you know, the person that is going to respect you for who you are. Because you shouldn't have to fight for that. You shouldn't have to grasp and run and crawl and cry and um, do all of that stuff it should be natural it should be easy your love that you give completely should be easily accepted and respected um i just feel as though that you know so a lot of people don't understand us or don't get it and so they 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 can get afraid of us and you know just like they don't understand a feeling of true and complete the true and complete giving of, of of yourself to them so they don't understand it so they fight against it anyway um 
or try to control it or try to hide behind being demanding or um, selfish and um, in control because they probably are just not in control of themselves and not understanding what's going on because people like that people like submissive people like us are special rare and unique we're beautiful human beings just so lovely and beautiful to be able to give yourself like that to to trust in somebody like that so naturally and so freely so don't don't um let people take advantage of you don't fight for them don't cry for them don't let anybody that's come up coming into your life talking about you know i'm your daddy or whatever like that and you, you go go do this do that and get on your knees and bow to me and that's not what that's all about okay so you can play your little games you can do all of that but that's not what that's about this person is supposed to cherish respect care for you guide you lead you in a positive way love you completely with respect and dignity um they're not supposed to make you feel beneath them at all they're not supposed to make you feel stupid or dumb or ignorant or naive they're supposed to build you up not bring you down the train is going by <laughs> a, a true dominant does not does not feed off of your insecurities or like feed off of the power that they have over you they do not um make you feel little 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 small and tiny they do not they make you feel strong and powerful and you know in control of yourself and just in, in love with yourself like like they are should be with you they don't take advantage of your heart of your mind of your soul of your body they share it they share the gift that you have given to them and they don't make you cry they don't you know ignore you so where you're running after um as i used to get punished by you know not being talked to for three or four days that that's not how that works that's not how that works that's not good and it's not fun and it's a it's a point of some some type of control that somebody is trying to have over you so don't don't let that happen to you don't fall for that don't you know that's not how you should be treated you should be treated with respect and dignity and like i said cherished and loved um it's like so many people don't understand that you're dumb you're the person that you give yourself to they don't let other people get into your life to destroy you to bring you down and to crush you they don't if they're out there doing something they're still protecting you they don't let other girls get your phone number they don't let other guys get your phone number they don't let people you know uh, uh make you feel bad about your relationship or any or anything like that you, you are who you are and you are beautiful and you just like to have that protection you like to have that comfort knowing that somebody is there for you like you are for them completely um i always thought when i felt like that that i was just like i said naive stupid you know you know just ignorant to life <laughs> because I was pretty much married my entire life I married someone you know way older to me when I was 17 and I got married again and that was like a, um, a very one-sided relationship and I just didn't know about myself and um and I met um, the one that broke my heart and and that um, you know that that was it for me i'm like what is going on who, who am i who is this why why is this happening to me so i read books like i said i learned about myself i you know i i learned about th that lifestyle and everything because you know it just, it just didn't seem normal the things that were happening to me and the way that i was being treated when i loved loved all i did was just show myself and love somebody so do you be you don't be afraid of who you are love yourself love the person that you are and make sure you get that love in return nobody demands it it is given freely your love is given freely to the person 
that you choose to give it to not somebody online that you don't haven't even met yet telling you that telling you how they are going to control you and make you their slave and all of that stuff that's not what that's all about that's just fake people tr trying to trying to control somebody because they can't control themselves um just because you are submissive or you you give yourself to somebody freely like that doesn't mean that you're weak because you're not weak you're strong actually only strong people are are that confident in themselves and in their love that they can just say here you go take my love it's yours just you know that's that's a beautiful thing to do and it's it's a a powerful thing to do and People, a lot of people are scared to do that. A lot of people don't, don't, are, cannot do that. And no matter how many times that I've been hurt, I still, that, this is, that's in my nature to be that way. And it's probably in yours, and that's why you're listening to this. So don't be afraid of who you are. Love yourself. Give yourself completely. Um, just make sure that you are being respected in the long run because that power deserves respect. It deserves respect. It de it deserves it. It it you deserve it for being so complete with somebody. Honestly, we we as you know, littles or baby girls or you know, submissives, we don't you know, we see ourselves um, just differently, and sometimes we don't even know why. But we're we're just free spirits. We're free birds. We're we're not afraid to love. We're not afraid of life. But we like to be comforted. We like to be held. We like to be cherished. We like to be, you know, complete with somebody. But it has to be somebody that understands that and somebody that's not going to fight it. And somebody that's not going to put you down because of who you are and make you or, or make you feel less than what you are because they're they're not understanding you. They, they don't understand that love. They don't understand the purity of it. So they fight against it. But they still want to hold on to it. So they distance themselves one week and then they, they draw them back to you the next week and they just can't figure it out. They can't figure out that, that kind of love, that powerful love, that true love, that that... that that complete giving of yourself. Um, a lot of men and women, whoever, however you go, just don't get it. So, you know, you got to find that one special person that understands you, that understands the life that you lead, that that um, gets it. And it doesn't have to be an older person. It could be a younger person, or just a more mature person. It just has to be a person that thinks like you. Um, a person that understands that type of life and not just your regular Joe that's just that just that just doesn't get it to just don't understand we call them vanilla we don't you don't it's just a whole nother different story we're on a whole nother different level and it's a beautiful level because it's free and it's giving and it's loving and it's pure and it's strong and it's two people in a balance, a yin, yin and yang in a balance together where it's just a perfect unity. So when you get that, that's when you are blessed. When when you're crying and when you're chasing after somebody or when you're hurt or when you're waiting for them to call for days or hours or whatever, um, you know, that's not good. When you're one, two days with them and then four days without them and they're just keeping you on a string, just dangling you around when you're happy for a little bit but sad for most of the time, that's not it, man. I, although that happiness, that happy time is so beautiful, so good, so loving, so it just means everything and you want it all the time and you can't wait for the next four horrible days to get over with so you can be back in, in that space, in that happy place. But most of the time when you're being treated like that the bad times are more than the good times you're just holding on to the to the happiness you know um, i remember one time this person told me to you know i'm the keeper of our memories so i remember everything and um as he you know just went around and did his thing and you know i it, it's not fair and it's not right to to have somebody manipulate your mind like that um and if if you're being manipulated, if you're being some kind of way, and you know you know what's happening, you you can't deny it. You know what's happening. You know the pain. You know the sadness. You know 
you know the disrespect that you're receiving you just don't acknowledge it because you just want the that those beautiful moments that you share those beautiful moments that you're being manipulated into believing is all that all is worth because it's not all all your moments should be beautiful all your moments should be even when you're when you're upset with each other they still should be moments together that's not painful or you're not being punished or set aside um it's not cool and you should never have to deal with other women calling you and getting into your business stuff he should never let that out or she should never let that happen they should protect you at all times no matter what they're doing um even though they shouldn't probably be but if people have their relationships and they have things that they do i'm not gonna lie it's, it's it goes out it goes like that it's like that sometimes but it all should be truthful out front honest talked about and respected you have an opinion your opinion just because you're submissive to somebody doesn't make you um obsolete you still have your opinions you still you still have your values you still know what you want you, you still should be able to talk about it not have somebody demand that you just accept what's happening to you you agree you talk about and you share your likes your dislikes and everything you want so don't don't let anybody make you do something that you're not comfortable doing because then they're not treating you well they're not treating you right and they're not they, they're not the one for you because you deserve better so being submissive is a beautiful thing it's a loving thing it's an amazing thing and um when you find the right person it's it's just the greatest experience in the world i i'm i married my husband we are amazing together and after the, after that heartbreak i never thought that i would would, would ever meet anybody or, or anything and we just it just came so natural without all of that pain and heartbreak and ups and downs happy sad crying mean and you know then back to happy and then sad again it's just a emotional roller coaster that I will never ever ever want to go on again and thank god I don't have to because I met the most amazing man um who knows me understands me and lets me just be me and he's him and we are we're yin and yang we are our own yin and yang we're like this we're solid um so just remember even if you're going through a heartbreak um if, if somebody treated you bad that you loved completely you will get better you will get over it it hurts it took me like a year to get over this thing i stopped dating and everything so but you you will bounce back you will be okay you will be loved you will be challenged just don't just don't don't think that you're, you're you're no good you're beautiful you're strong you are amazing and you have the power to give love so don't ever be ashamed of that um that's it that's what i have to talk about today um love yourself make sure you look in that mirror and let yourself know that you love you um make sure that you are being respected and well taken care of and um, make sure your dom knows the beautiful person that you are okay you are loved have a great and blessed day bye don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell <laughs> bye